For most people, Buenos Aires means basically tango. There are good reasons that explain why this city and its music have become synonyms. The tango expresses like no other music the spirit of a capital where millions of immigrants have blended their history and feelings with those of Argentina, the country that so kindly welcomed them. But visitors can find much more in Buenos Aires. For example, a charming city, proud of its parks and monuments. A city that knew how to embellish its downtown profile with dozens of towers and domes. A metropolis which russes and bustles in the financial quarters, but loves the pleasant quietness of the old neighborhood backyards. A city that gets excited by shopping at luxurious malls and enjoys the simple ritual of drinking coffee at the old bar in the neighborhood. A city that dearly treasures the old houses and stone-paved streets in the south and shows off in the north, reflecting the sky on the glass walls of modern buildings. A Buenos Aires that devotes much time to explore literary novelties and takes pleasure in giving support to hundreds of art exhibitions and becomes full of thundering cheers at soccer stadiums where multitudes cheer their favorite teams. The modern together with the old. The quiet near the restless. The distinguished next to the ordinary. All different and yet all blending in. A capital in which diversity became the most charming characteristic. Charming like the tango, as beautiful as her women. Buenos Aires appeals to the heart. communicated port, cosmopolitan, and open to all philosophical and artistic trends, Buenos Aires has an intense cultural activity. The calendar includes more than 2,000 annual events. There are plastic arts exhibitions, concerts, ballet performances, cinema and theater festivals, and a great number of contests and competitions, organized by official and private institutions there is a growing number of shows in parks, squares, and soccer stadiums. In addition, there is a full program of business and scientific congresses, seminars, and exhibitions, which in many cases are international. These events convoke thousands of foreign visitors who sustain the marked growth of the hotel business. Guests get in touch with a capital that normally exceeds their expectations. The city has more than 70 different types of museums, around 150 public libraries, a number which is duplicated if private institutions and educational institutes are included. The International Fair, the book from the author to the reader, is one of the most important in its type around the world and shows the importance of the publishing business which has made Buenos Aires one of the main centers of the Spanish-American book. During the month of April each year, contact between authors and readers is promoted and the fair becomes a privileged environment for conferences and debates. The creative rhythm of local artists supports the activity of art galleries, large in number even for a big city. There are more than 50 galleries devoted to the exhibition and sale of paintings, sculptures, engravings, drawings, tapestry, and other plastic arts. Visitors are also surprised by the dimension of the antiques business, which includes simple objects used by the popular classes in the old times to magnificent works produced by European artists and firms. This abundance 
is a result of the large purchasing power of the aristocracy of Buenos Aires from 1880 to 1930, when entire families used to stay for long periods in Europe, buying objects with the money produced by their wealthy farms in Argentina. <laughs> Among the buildings that characterize the Nueva de Julio Avenue, none is so well known as the Teatro Colón, one of the most important in the world of opera. It is located less than 200 meters from the Obelisco and occupies the block where the city's central railway station used to stand in the past. It is one of the most harmonious buildings in Buenos Aires, the product of the wealthiest period of Argentina which explains why it is entirely monumental. The auditorium, 75 meters long and of semi-circular form, is the largest of its type in the world and provokes admiration for its exceptional acoustics. The public is distributed in 632 orchestra seats and 142 balconies, which together accommodate 2,500 people. The golden and garnet colors predominate in the decoration illuminated by dozens of Belle Epoque lights. The 700 lamps of the central chandelier has a diameter of 7 meters and weighs 2,500 kilos. There is space enough for 20 musicians or for the personnel in charge of special effects. When it is raised, it is lodged in the center of a great dome painted by Master Raul Soldi. Out of sight from the public, in three underground floors that extend under the Avenue Nueve de Julio, next to Arturo Toscanini Street, a citadel operates which combines sculpture, scenery, tailors and shoemaker shops, entirely devoted to the staging of opera and ballet. The Museum of Lyric Art and Musical Instrument remains permanently open to the public. For decades, the Cologne has been a part of the circuit of large concert halls in the world, and the list of orchestras, conductors, choreographers, ballet and opera stars who have performed on its stage includes the most important international figures. In addition, the Cologne Theatre trains professionals and has its own artistic staff. Its high institute of arts is a renowned place for singers, musicians, and dancers. It has given fame to international celebrities such as Julio Boca or Paloma Herrera, among others. The main facade of the Colón Theater faces the large Plaza Lavage, which occupies an area of three blocks with immense trees growing there for more than a century. A few steps from there is the Federal Law Palace, site of the judicial power of the nation. And two blocks to the north, on Córdoba Avenue, the Teatro Nacional Cervantes is where various plays are staged, generally from the classical repertoire. It is the site of the Argentine Official Comedy Theater and the National Theater Museum, utilized for the presentation of new books as well as for conferences and seminars.